I got the job offer, but I found out how much they were paying me and it was crazy to me. I will say I made a little bit over dollars an hour, which is really, really good. You can literally miss two of the weeks and still get paid for the entire internship. Yo, okay. Today we are doing something differently and it will mark the shift toward a different focus of my channel. I have a passion for aerospace and aviation and anything, <laughs> anything in the air that flies. So I figure why would I even make YouTube videos if I'm not going to do what my passion tells me to do? So leading directly into that, that is why this video will talk about my internship with Boeing. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process it took me to get the internship, to get the interview, how much I get paid, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, what you can expect, what I expected. I'm gonna take you through the entire process of my brain and the actions that we take through the internship. I've always been super interested in Boeing and it was one of the top companies that I did want to intern with. And I didn't actually think I would hear anything back from them. I just filled out one application, I guess you could say. I put my resume there and I also wrote a cover letter. Now in my cover letter, I didn't like normally write cover letters, but I did just this time because I wanted the internship. I did this for the Tesla applications and, the, and excuse me, the Boeing application. The thing about it was I really took my time on the cover letter. Now, I don't know if that made a difference, but I'd like to think it did help me get an interview. I applied around the October range, I want to say. It was right when they first opened up applications. And I knew it was important to get, get in like right away because they say like the earlier application is the better chance you have. And I don't know if that was true or not, but it seems to have worked for me. But as I said, I applied in early October-ish range and I ended up getting a interview, I think November, in very early November. I think it was one of the first couple days of November. And I was super excited that I heard back. I wasn't expecting to hear anything back, honestly. And the internship that I specifically signed up for was, there was like 30 different locations um, that I could have been working at. And I didn't realize at the time, like what one would have wanted me or whatever, but I'm actually from Pennsylvania. So they were also in Pennsylvania. So I think that's a good reason also why I heard back. Now that's not a limiting factor if you're not in the same state, but I think it does help because then they, they wouldn't theoretically have to pay you relocation or have to help you, or it would just increase your chances of staying with that internship because you're in the same state. Anyway, I got the interview, I scheduled it super nice. They gave me a bunch of different times I could schedule it. And I remember um, I was extremely nervous going into the interview because I really wanted the job. I didn't honestly think I had a chance of getting it, but I really wanted the job. And they asked questions that were all situational. I think they used what's called the STAR method, which is all situational based questions. So name a time when you were in a group and this happened, name a time when you had to study using this less technical knowledge, more general situational stuff. This is the best I would say. And I was super nervous, but they were super nice. Now I can't say that's gonna be the case for everything because I interviewed with my manager that I'm actually working for right now. So it depends on whatever manager that you would be interviewing with, how smoothly your interview would go. After the interview, I really didn't think I had a chance. I thought there'd be people that interviewed that were either more qualified or did a better job in the interview. But um, a little bit about the interview also, it was only over like WebEx. So there was no faces, I couldn't see anybody. It was just like doing a uh, phone interview, but you were on WebEx. And I figured that the first interview would just be narrowing down the contestants. And I got an email like three or four weeks later and I didn't expect anything of it other than either I we respectfully don't want you or where we want you in for a second interview. Now the second email had a header that was like really strange. So I pressed it and within it had an offer letter. And I was so honestly, like I was so taken aback and I just could not believe it. It was like early to mid December, I think at the time, if that's right, maybe late November. And here I was, I had my first offer from Boeing. I did not expect it at all, like I said. So without hesitation, I read through 
exactly what they were paying me for everything and how much time and then my possible start dates, blah, 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 blah. After I accepted the offer, cause I accepted it basically, I think the same day, I actually got it right before one of my college basketball games. And I remember that game, I literally couldn't even focus cause I not only got the job offer, but I found out how much they were paying me and it was crazy to me. From there, I actually went on to do a bunch of meetings over the next like three or four months. I had a terrible time getting in contact with like the HR people because they just, in my opinion, they don't really care that much about interns, kind of like last priority. So I had to email them multiple times because you'll see you have to get into contact with them for different reasons. So my job interview was for a position called facilities engineering, and I've studied electrical engineering. So they have a facilities electrical engineering intern that they were trying to hire, obviously. Um, but facilities is basically the building and infrastructure and like new projects. You're basically a project manager. That's what your job is. I learned this and I learned I'll also be at the Philadelphia site, which is actually Ridley Park. It's just outside of Philadelphia. And it's one of the sites for Boeing defense in space. So what they do is they make rotor craft. So they make two different types of helicopters. Um, one of which is the Osprey, the V-22 Osprey, and then the Chinook. As time moved on, I found out I was also getting relocation. Now, they paid me a lot of money for relocation. I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but it was more than a few thousand. So it was a lot of money. So originally relocation was just supposed to cover for my housing for the summer, but my housing ended up being way cheaper than the amount they paid. So. I just got to keep that extra money. Well, I guess I'm in it right now, so I get to keep that extra money. I was in the same state that they offered me, but I got relocation because I was on the opposite end of the state. And they have a bunch of calculations of how they calculate your number um, of how much relocation you're getting based on your distance and based on your location. Time goes by and I show up in, I think a May 30, 29th, something like that. They start on a Friday, which was really weird to me, but I guess they do all their like um, introductions and whatnot on Friday, which is a little bit of an inconvenience because then you just get there on a Friday and you have to wait the whole weekend and then you don't start your next week until Monday, but it's not a big issue. Now, before I get into things too much, I will talk about how much I made. I don't want to give a specific number. I know I'm allowed to, but I just feel really weird doing it. But I will say I made a little bit over $30 an hour, which is really, really good compared to most internships. I know bigger companies pay more, but Boeing especially is known for paying well. We actually get even more benefits than just the relocation and the um, crazy competitive wage, but I'm gonna talk about those later. Now, if you wouldn't mind, please do me a favor and like this video. I appreciate it because it takes only a second out of your day, but these videos take forever for me to make. So just dropping a like literally makes my day. Please do it. But I showed up the first day and I think the business casual was the what you're supposed to wear. And I remember they don't really have too much for me to do as an intern. I did find myself busy like after the first couple weeks. But honestly, it's kind of like the tasks that nobody else wants to do which is okay, I understand it. I'm an intern, I'm getting paid a lot. I will say they do like to focus on giving you some benefit too. So there's a bunch of like different meetings and things that are set up like for interns, like virtual and in person based on your site, uh, where you get to like either learn about the site or you get to learn like general company information, which is actually really nice. The nice thing about being an intern at Boeing is everybody is so welcome to talk to you. Like I can walk into my manager's office and learn about his life story. I can walk into my manager's 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 office and ask him why he does what he does or how he got to where he did. They have an open door policy and they, from my experience, are very, very good about doing it. Now, what I did notice from my previous internship to this internship at Boeing though, is it is fairly strict in terms of policy. Now it may just be on the, because of the team that I'm on, but I noticed that they try and make sure that you're either constantly working or that you're constantly focused. It's, it's kind of an environment where you feel like you're being pushed more, not in a bad way necessarily, but you're not really gonna have that much 
downtime or that much time to just think about stuff outside of work. They keep you generally focused and they should. I mean, they're creating a work environment and obviously it's a very good company for a reason, but you kind of feel a little bit of that like tension that you should be doing something to help. Now talking about benefits a little bit more, I went to a meeting that was um, all about like intern benefits that just blew my mind. So as interns, there's either a 10 or 12 week option and either one you do, you get the same benefits. Now it's kind of crazy, but they give you 11 days of paid time off, which is insane. So if you were to take a 10 week internship, you can literally miss two of the weeks plus another day and only go seven and four fifths weeks and still get paid for the entire internship. And if this isn't crazy enough, they actually pay 10%, they match 10% of your 401k investment, which is absolutely mind blowing. As an intern, they do this. So if you're smart, you'll take advantage and you'll invest that 10% of your salary. So that way they'll invest another 10% and get you to 20%, which is so nice. Not only this, but they have like healthcare benefits and a bunch of other stuff, even for interns, like to discounts to stores and whatnot, just because you're an employee at Boeing and it's kind of awesome. But I'm currently, I think halfway done with my internship and I will say that they're very, very big on recruiting after your internship. So if you have an internship at Boeing, it is 10 times easier getting a job after versus if you didn't have an internship. Now, this may not seem like that big of a deal, but for somebody who really wants to get in the company like me for long term, it is amazing. And I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that because the more you network while you're there, the easier it will be to get a job. Not only this, but your manager after you leave kind of writes a small report about you or fills out a form about you. And if they have good things to say about you and you apply to any different position within the company, that is gonna stay with you. So that is gonna help you when you get hired because you already have been in the company and you already left this good mark on the company. So that has been my experience to this point. Um, I didn't really know if I was gonna open up about this and talk about it, but when I got this internship, I like went on YouTube right away and tried to look up stuff. And I did find a few videos, but I wanted somebody to be transparent like about benefits and whatnot. So I tried to explain it as best as I could. But if you like watching this video, please like and subscribe. If you wanna see more, then subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be doing more aerospace field related items as I mentioned. So I will see you next time.